the mid 40s. Completely well, different. We were just talking. Um, you have a pug named uh, Tramp. Yes. Yes. And well, pug, yeah. we were just talking about what you may dress it up for Halloween. Well, here we have <laughs> Spider Man and Man in Black. Man in like Black, it. indeed. Well, look at Fagin. Is he not the cutest thing? This is so cute. I like the tie. I like the tie, too. <laughs> he looks very spiffy. And you guys are here to tell us a little bit about Halloween. Obviously, Fagin likes being dressed up. Well, there's, that's kind of debatable, personally. Well, but I that's mean, true. He doesn't know, mind it. He doesn't mind it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, obviously, what we're going to be doing is talking about two quick things real fast is obviously chocolate. Right around this time of the year, oh, yes. <clears throat> dogs uh, have a habit of getting into chocolate. And there's a little bit of confusion of uh, the dangers of chocolate. Um, you know, obviously, the main compound in chocolate is something called theobromide. Uh, which is the main ingredient that is uh, dangerous to dogs. It's also dangerous to other pets, but mostly you'll see these effects uh, happen with dogs. Dogs seem to get into chocolate more than, like, say, cats um, or other pets. Um, the biggest thing that you need to be aware of is that if your dog does eat chocolate, there's going to be three different types of chocolate. You need to be conscious of what your dog actually ingests. Okay. Um, that'll help your veterinarian. Uh, the biggest one would be, say, Baker's chocolate, which is... That's the worst, That's correct? the worst. That's just pure chocolate. Uh, the second would be, say, like a dark chocolate. Um, He's tired this morning. He is this tired morning. this morning. Um, I love this dog. Dark chocolate, obviously, between that is going to be sort of like a medium, and then your milk chocolate is going to be the lesser evil out of the three of them. Symptoms are going to be include, say, restlessness, um, Lethargy, although Pagan has not eaten any chocolate, he's just hanging out. Yeah, he's um, this morning. It's early. Fast elevated heart rate, vomiting, and diarrhea. And so if, if you're seeing these, you need to get actually get to your vet pretty quickly, shouldn't you? Pretty quickly if you do see those symptoms, exactly. And then what do they do? What does the vet do then? Uh, normally, they'll uh, start putting them on some IV fluids and maybe try to get um, some uh, activated charcoal in them that will help absorb uh, okay. some of those poisons okay. from the chocolate. I see. Oh my gosh, he, this dog is cracking me up this morning. Okay, so tell us, let's talk a little bit about costumes because right. a lot of people do dress mm -hmm. their dogs yeah. up right. and Guilty. animals up right. around this time of the year. Some people, or some dogs, they don't mind it, but others, they, don't mind it. they hate it. They do hate it, uh, you know, and it really just depends on your comfort level of your dog. Um, you know, obviously you don't want to do anything that your dog or your cat's not going to really enjoy. However, the big tie-in is going to be the pet costume Halloween contest that we're Ooh, having here yes. at the station. Uh, first prize, obviously, is going to be the ASL Solutions Doghouse, which is really nice. Here's a Pretty picture cool. of it. This thing is awesome. It is has air conditioning and heating. And heating, and <laughs> it's also going to have a name on there. Ooh. Obviously, uh, this is Bessie, so that's oh, Bessie's so doghouse. Oh, personalize house. it. That's awesome. So it'll be personalized. Uh, the second winner will be a $50 gift certificate from the Pet Food Center. Mm -hmm. Third prize will be a knick-knack bag from PetSmart. And then I guess a special uh, prize will be a $100 gift certificate from Pork Chomps, which cool. is actually sponsoring this whole um, celebration, more or less. So the big thing is, to win these prizes, you actually have to go online and right. upload your photos. That's right. what we need you to do this right. morning. Mm -hmm. okay. So dress up your animals, <laughs> take mm -hmm. your best photo, put it online, and when are we going to unveil the, unveil the winners? Uh, right now, we're going to be, the timeline for you to submit your photos is going to be Monday at 1 o'clock. Okay. Okay. Voting will start exactly right around 1 o'clock on Monday till Friday. And then I believe on Halloween, uh, Dave and Susie at 5 o'clock will announce who the winners are. Oh, Wonderful. how exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I now, can't wait to see. I do want to let people know, too, because we did, I know we did this last year. Let's say you have a little dog. That house is pretty big. Pretty big. They can tailor it to the size of your dog, can't they? Exactly, yes. So, I mean, it, just because this dog house that you're seeing is going to be for, like, say, a German Shepherd right. or St. Bernard. Well, let's say the winner is going to be, a, say, a Dachshund or yeah. something like that. They're going to tailor it down for just your size of your dog. Wow. That's awesome. really cool. Really nice. I think that's, that's very cool. Really that nice. is, you'll have to put Champ's picture up I may there, have just to. Just to show people. I'm debating which costume. He's very cute. <laughs> He's very cute. Well, thank you so thank much. You. Pegan, you can go back to Aww. bed, baby. He's, he was tired <laughs> this morning. Thanks, Greg. As we take it right, here's a look at how you can get a hold of Greg Riley. If you have any questions, also make sure you go to our website and upload your animals and their costumes for our Halloween pet costume contest. I can't wait to see your photos. You're watching News 10 this morning on WTH.